Map Junction lets you compare any two maps on your desktop or on your smartphone. Using the wand, you can move the boundary between the left or right map, and you can adjust the transparency. Choosing maps is easy. Just click on the map banner, and many of these are atlases that combine 30 or 40 maps together. On this side, I'm going to choose an atlas from 1895. Now these two maps may look similar, but there are big changes in store. South Station was built, and you can see that quite easily. So here is South Station in 1917, and here's what was there in 1895. You can see how big a project it was. And by using the wand to dissolve it on or off, you can see exactly where South Station was placed. Clicking the 3D button on the upper right gives you a 3D view of South Station today. Harbor. Here we have Boston Harbor in 1860, and we can move around this, this map and see the South Boston Harbor area flats. Uh, we can see the South Bay, uh, and we can see uh, Boston Neck. So now moving this map, the 1910 NOAA chart, and we can see the South Bay nice and clearly. And it's easy to see how the South Bay changed. Let's say we'd like to take a better look at this 1910 map. We have available what's called KML. When we click on that, it will bring us to Google Earth. Can turn on, for example, 3D buildings and move in to South Bay it's also easy to compare aerial photos. In this case, I've got 23 of them available, going all the way back to 1938. But I'm going to pick the 1952 Boston Metro Aerial. And I can instantly get a view of that same area, and I can see what the South Bay looked like at that time. Map Junction makes it very easy to share maps on the system. You can share to Facebook, Google, Twitter, uh, you can send an email, uh, or you can even uh, embed Map Junction into your web page. In this case, I'm going to send an email, um, and it, it makes this link. You can just send the link. People can then open that link and get back to the same spot. Or, if you'd like to download maps that you've used, you can come here and click Download Maps, put in your email address, and choose Send. You'll get an email from Map Junction that has all the layers that you used, and you can download each one either as a JPEG or as a PNG, if, for example, it's a vector overlay. The new Boston Atlas is meant to be very easy to search. So let's just look for atlases, A-T-L-A-S, atlas. And here are all the atlases in Map Junction. We've created a number of Boston Metro aerials. So for example, if I click on the 1969 aerial, and you can see that it easily covers virtually all of Boston and covers many of the towns around. Our 1938 aerial covers most of Boston. For the 1952 map, we paid to have negatives scanned directly at the National Archives. It's a beautiful map, but it only covers the northern part of Boston. But the 1955 has a wide coverage area. The 1962 map has only partial coverage, but it covers the downtown area. The 1969 covers the entire metro area, and the 1977 even more. And the 1978 covers all of Boston and many surrounding towns. I made some quick start links. bit.ly.mapjunction1 takes you to 1860 with the 1952 aerial.
Bitly Map Junction 2 shows the 1952 aerial with city parcels overlaid. Bitly Map Junction 3 shows map box with city parcels overlaid. And Bitly Map Junction 4 shows the Sanborn Atlas against map box streets. Thank you.